In this video, we're going to walk through the computer display replacement procedure for M-series cycles. This procedure also applies to computer upgrade installation. Tools and materials required are shown on screen and listed in the video description. Note, calibration is required to complete the installation. The calibration procedure is included at the end of this video. To begin, remove the media tray and set the handlebars away from the cycle for clearance. Remove the display mount screw to release the display and mount. At the back of the computer display, Remove the two display screws to open the computer display housing. Lift the computer screen and release the communication wire from the strain relief. Use your finger to pry and disconnect the communication wire. And finally, route the communication wire out of the housing and mount to release the assembly. During installation, handle the computer screen with care and do not pull the battery wires to prevent breaking the solder joints. To begin installation, release the display mount from the new computer display by removing the center screw at the back of the assembly. Set aside the display and mount screw. Install the display mount. Route the communication wire through the display mount. Twist the wire to make a small coil and tuck it into the display mount. Slide the display mount up and under the mount tabs and secure it with the display mount screw. Next, we'll install the computer display. Remove the two display screws to release the display face and open the housing. Slowly, lift the computer screen to reveal the opening at the back of the housing. Route the communication wire through the opening. Set the computer display onto the display mount and connect the communication wire. Keep the computer screen close to the housing. This will help prevent breaking the battery wires and will also help keep the twist in the battery wires intact. Pedal the bike to test the connection. If the computer display does not wake up after one full revolution, check for any loose connections inside the display housing. Once proper connection is confirmed, secure the computer display housing to the display mount using the center screw removed earlier. Now, before closing the display housing, make sure the battery wires maintain the twists along the strand. They must be wrapped tightly and evenly spaced. This reduces the potential for signal interference and is critical to proper computer function. Take note of the two strain reliefs inside the display housing. Align the computer screen over the display housing. Wedge the communication wire into its strain relief. Carefully lead the battery wires away from the batteries and into its strain relief. And ensure the wires route along the side of the housing. If the computer screen does not lay flat in the housing, check for excess communication wire pushing up under the computer screen. Reset the communication wire in its strain relief and ensure the communication wire is pushed back into the housing. Make sure the battery wire is reset in its strain relief as well.
Clear any dust or debris from the screens before closing the display housing. Latch the screen at the bottom tab. And ensure the screen is properly seated. Reinstall the two display housing screws. Hold the screen and tighten the screws until snug. Careful not to over tighten to prevent stripping the internal threads. Calibration is required to complete the installation. Failure to calibrate will result in incorrect data readout. Follow this calibration procedure to complete the installation. We hope that you found this walkthrough helpful. If you have any questions or to order replacement parts, visit kaiser.com forward slash support. And thanks for watching.